Hello everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install the All of Create mod pack for Minecraft Java. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have the CurseForge app, as this is a CurseForge mod pack. So, if you don't have the app, just go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them, but here all you want to do is go to your search bar, and search up for Curse Forge. Here just enter and then you find curseforge.com here. Just click on Curse Forge and this will bring you to the Curse Forge homepage. So from there, all you want to do is go to get Curse Forge app here on the top of the website. And then you want to go to download standalone here to only have the Curse Forge app. I will have a tutorial in the description on how to actually install the app, but it is quite easy. So once you have the app here, we're going to just go ahead and close the web browser. You should see here CurseForge and just go ahead and click on it. Here it will open and basically, once you have CurseForge, you will have to go ahead and select Minecraft here. You'll find Minecraft somewhere here and just click on Minecraft. And from there, it will tell you to set up CurseForge Minecraft modding folder. Just do standard and do continue. And now we have this page. So all you want to do here is go on the top here to search for Minecraft projects and you want to search up for all of create. So all of create and then you'll find all of create somewhere here. We'll go ahead and find all of create here. So it is this one here, all of create. So you do need to go ahead and scroll down and you'll find all of create somewhere and just go ahead and click on install once you find it. And here, we have to wait for is for everything to go ahead and download and then we can go ahead and start. Okay, and once you have the all of create mod pack, all you want to do is go to my mod packs and then you'll find your mod pack here. So all you want to do is just hover over it and go to play. And now this will go ahead and download a new Minecraft launcher. So here you have the original one and here you have the CurseForge one. As you can see, it's a different color. And this means you might need to log into your Minecraft account again, so your Microsoft account. So we'll just go ahead and wait for this to download and then we'll be able to go ahead and log into our Java account so we can go ahead and start the all of create instance with all the mods that this CurseForge application basically gave us. So here we're gonna have our Minecraft launcher here. Let's go ahead and click on it if it does not open full screen like that. And now all you want to do is go to sign in with Microsoft. Just click this button and this will just ask you to sign in with Microsoft. And from there I'm just gonna do this real quick and then we can continue. And now that we are signed in, it will just bring it like this. There you go. This is the Minecraft launcher. And all you want to do here is go to Minecraft Java Edition here. From there, all you want to do is actually either click play, but you might not be able to run it as you have like a lower amount of RAM configured by default by basically CurseForge. So all you want to do is go to installations here. If you want to add more RAM, you don't have to, but you can if you want. Then you can go to all of create and go to the three dots. Then you can go to edit and then you can go to more options. And here you have the RAM in megabytes. So here we can just go ahead and change four by six or eight or something. And this will just help limit crashes and lag as well. So you only need to do this if you really have to or want to. But if you did this, just do save then go to play. Here we want to go to all of create and make sure you click play. Here do you understand the risks and click play again. And I have to go ahead and wait for Minecraft to download. Yes, the full Minecraft. And then we'll just go ahead and wait for it to open up and go in a world with all of create active. So there will be a bunch of pages of mods as well. Okay, so once you have all of create, you can go to a single player world for example, or a multiplayer world, if you want to go ahead and have a server with the all of create mod pack on it and join it. 
but we'll just go to single player here and he'll be able to go ahead and create our own world real quick okay so here we are now in all of create you can see that it does look pretty different as this mod pack also adds changes to the terrain but if we go to our inventory we will see that we have a bunch of pages here and we can just keep going here and we also have subcategories of all of create pages as well so there is a bunch of different things to go through of course but yeah, so we also have like more food, which like some form of food delivery system with create and everything, but more food as well. This is like really cool. So yeah, there's like a bunch of pages of create mods and items and everything basically that you can choose to use in your create projects. So yeah, in today's video, I showed you how to download and install the all of create Minecraft mod pack. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.